Okay, so today I'll be showing you guys how to make this crop top right here. And I'll be showing you what tools I use and yeah. So first I make a new layer and then I select the line tool, put it at one. Then I drag it across, the, I use an advanced template, but I drag it across and then I move it up like that. And I do the same thing here and I make sure it's even by getting the box select and making sure it's at 32. So it's at the middle, then I flip it over. Then I do the same thing here. And then I copy this and then put it at the back side of the template. Then I'm just adjusting it here so I know what size I want it. I usually make my skirt a certain size so I'm just doing that. So here what I did was I duplicated this layer and then I pulled it up and then I and then I um, put it like into the same layer. In this layer I just made a new layer, used the circle tool, put it where the neck hole is supposed to go and then flip it over so it's even. And then I'm getting another circle to make the like neck hole look more realistic I guess. And then flip it over again using the box select. Okay so now you're going to add a new layer and use the little paintbrush tool and draw little lines like this. You can use the line tool too, but I use this tool because it's easier. So what you do is you're just going to go and do half and then just flip it over once it's done. This way it's easier and you don't have to do more work, I guess you can say. I use an advanced template with lines. If you don't have that, it's pretty easy to figure out what the middle of each part is. So you could just do it that way too. So I'm just adding a little more lines there. Then I'm just copying this part and pasting it in this back part. So now I'm going to be adding another layer. Well, kind of. I'll be duplicating the line layer. Putting it under the original line. Making it white. And then just fixing it so it looks good under it. And then I'm just like cleaning it up a bit here. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing the arms, which is basically the same thing as down here. So I'll just let that go, because I don't really need to explain that again. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'll be adding colors. I go all the way to the bottom, I click this layer and make a new layer for my color layer. So now I go on this little thing up here and pick which color I want. I get the box tool, select it, and then fill it with the paint bucket tool. To the, then I adjust it over here to get the color I want. And then once I do that, I get the box tool and just get rid of all of the stuff that goes over the lines same thing up here just do that and then in here I just get the eraser tool put it up to like four or five and then just erase the inside so there's no extra um, color in there then I just take this and flip it so both sides don't have anything in there even okay so now what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be inverting the color then using grayscale to make it the same color as the shirt, like a little darker. Be doing it with the neck hole and the sleeves too. So, well down here, what I do with the white is I go and overlay it, but with the black, I do the same thing as I did with the lines. I make it pink, and then I adjust the white so then it looks better. So that's how I do the like, that's, that's how I make it look good and blend in better instead of just use an overlay for everything. I'm basically doing the same thing here. So I don't really need to explain that anymore. Just adjusting everything. Okay, so now I'm um, we're doing the shading. So what you do is you grab the color of the shirt and get a bit of a darker color and make 
the opacity a bit lighter and take the hardness down to zero. And just follow what I do. I just usually outline the basic areas. So down here, I just use the flip vein to make it even around the neck hole and also on the arms. So I'll be doing that. And then what I do after that is I um, get the blur tool and blur it a bit. Go down here and I click the, the little white vein, I don't know what it's called. Um, and then I make the opacity lower or just take it down so it blends in better. So I'll be showing how I do that right now. So blurring it, going down here and taking it down a bit. So after this, what I do is I get a new layer and then I draw lines by hold and I just scroll wheel up just to get these lines. It's just easy way to do it. Also make sure to get rid of any of the access stuff that may be going on to the this area because you want that to be transparent. So once we have that we do the same blur thing and then we do the same thing where we lower it so it blends in better. Add a new layer and now this is when we'll be adding lines like kind of like the creases. You can do your lines however like it doesn't really matter what way you do them. I did them a bit different than I usually do them just to try something new but then you blur them and then what you do is you duplicate it then click the layer under and then black and white and then make it white and then drag it down so then it gives it more of like a 3d look so it actually looks kind of like there's wrinkles there as you can see basically just doing this for the whole way around so yeah it's pretty easy you can do it any way you want like you can make little ones like this one here you can just make lines going if you want it to be like more of a wrinkled look but either way anyway will look good just gotta practice so once we're done doing this just gonna show you guys how um i like draw sometimes little images on my um on my um shirts and how sometimes i go about doing that as you can see i'm doing the same thing and i end up copying and pasting the middle part to the back part because i didn't do that originally so you'll see that happen but you can see hopefully you can see how it looks wrinkled and realistic so now you'll see me just taking this part and copying it to the back like i said earlier and then once this part is over, I believe I do the arms, the same thing to the arms. And then I add the little flower image that you see in the thumbnail. I'll be showing you guys how I do that. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment in the comment section. Or if you have any suggestions for tutorials in the future or what videos you want to see, just make sure to ask and I'll do it. Or if you want like a more detailed crop top um tutorial i'll do that because it's just a simple one so i can always do that so here i just taken his arm and flipping it over here and then that's basically it so now i'm just adding a new layer i get my little paint tool i got yellow and i just drew a little yellow circle so then how i do my flowers i usually draw it out and then outline it so as you can see here then i'll take the white and fill it in a bit you can do it the same way I do it, or you can find your own way. I didn't use a reference for this, because I forgot, so it'd be easier if you guys had a reference. So now I take, like, a gray color, and then I trace it to give it, like, a better detailed look. So just, if you want to make a flower or anything, you can just basically do this, or however way you feel comfortable with. It's just, I usually add cute little logos on my clothes, or... Well, not locals, little images that I draw. And I know you guys like those, so. Yes, this is a tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, please.